wonderfully. Some of these lodges have places where the fish are a little more willing than in other places. There are places like we talked about in the Delaware where, you know, you've got to really want to match the hatch and pay attention. It's extraordinarily technical. I mean, you and I have fished it and had one fish days and no fish, no fish days. days. <laughs> and, 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 you know, even with fish rising all around you. So um, there are other places you can go where literally you just flip it in and something's going to bite it, which is, that's a perfect situation for children. To be fair to West Branch, though, I've had some of the finest yeah, right. drive line I'm fishing sure. for wild brown trout in my life. Absolutely. There, so right in front of the cabins. And that's fishing. I mean, all these lodges, you can get, you can get skunked even at one of these lodges. Maybe. I think, uh, yeah, I think for the most that's part, that, that's fishing, exactly. Yeah. But uh, there are some of them where, well, I, some examples in Alaska, you would have to be hard pressed to get skunked. Yeah, I guess in Alaska, it'd be pretty tough. <laughs> I mean, I, actually, as you know, I spent uh, a little while as a guide up there a year and a half ago, and it was just, I used to just kind of smile. I mean, it, I, it was, I couldn't believe it was that easy. So to kind of wrap it up, what are the things to look for in picking a fine fishing lodge? First of all, I think you have to, to, to um, look at, number one, what kind of fish do you want to fish for? Are you fishing for Atlantic salmon? Are you fishing for Pacific salmon? Do you want to fish for trout? Or do you not care if you just want to catch fish? Or do you want to go flats fishing in Florida? That's mm -hmm. obvious. Right. Uh, okay. The second thing is, what is the level of... Uh, amenity do you want? Do you really want the rustic experience? Do you want to feel like you're at a fish camp? Do you want to go to a Weatherby's? Do you want to go to um, a place out in the Rockies somewhere? Uh, I think like Spotted Bear that's it's, it's at, the, at the end of the Bob Marshall Wilderness, mm -hmm. place like that, yep. where you're just not going to see anybody and, and it's going to be absolutely um, um, pristine and, uh, it, well, they're all pristine, but pristine and, and the fact that remote remote yeah. is a perfect word or do you want to have the access to three or four extraordinary restaurants do you want to have a 17,000 bottle wine list do you want to to be able to bring your spouse and bring your children um, I think you have to really focus in on exactly what it what is the experience that you want to have and I truthfully can't imagine that you won't find something in that book yeah. that won't take care of that. And probably, as we've been talking about, your skill level. You know, if you're, if you're a novice angler and, and, or you don't like to practice your casting and your casting isn't so good, you probably don't want to go to, to fish a technical trout stream or you don't want to go to the flats in Florida because that stuff is, is tough. You want to probably go to Alaska or to one of the more remote lodges in the Rockies where the fish are unpressured and and they're Easy also, yeah, well, and, and, and exactly. And, and the other, but the other great thing is, I mean, I'll, I'll give you a perfect example of a place like um, Craig Fellon's uh, Big Hole uh, Lodge. Yep. So this is a place where even if you were a novice, now if you were an extraordinarily good fisherman, it would be a great place to go because that guide is going to take you and, and put you on some of the best fishing in the world. But these guides are so good you could actually go there probably, I wouldn't say as a beginner, but as a novice, and having a guide of that quality next to you, you're gonna have great success. I think these are, these are the things that you need to focus in on when you're thinking about where you wanna go. First of all, is it just you? Second of all, is it rustic? What kind of fishing? What part of the country do you want to be in? Do you want to see big mountains or do you want to be surrounded by mountain laurel? You know, and there's something there, I think, for everybody. For sure. Great, great, uh, great list. I got to get back on that volunteer list. Yeah. All right. So thanks very much for watching this uh, special video edition of the Oris Fly Fishing Guide podcast. Thanks, Paul, for joining me today. And uh, don't forget that Paul's book, Great Fishing Lodges of North America, is available on the Orvis website or at fine bookstores near you. And um, if you are more interested in, in the lodges themselves and the various services that Orvis offers, fishing schools and endorsed guides and so on, just come on to our website at orvis.com slash sporting services, one word, and um, you can find all that information there. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.